my fine friends. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite artists. His name is Pablo Picasso. Now Pablo Picasso was born in Spain in 1881 and he died in 1973. He had a really long life and created tons of art in all different styles and mediums. Medium is what you use to make the art like clay or paint or pencil. So he made so much art in so many different styles and that's what I love about him. He was able to change and try new things all the time. So here is actually two of his self-portraits and you can see they're very, very different in style. One is a little more realistic while the other is a little more expressive with lots of color. He is most well known for a style of art called cubism. Now this is a cubist painting of a man, it's a portrait, and you can see that all of the different parts of the painting are broken up into little cubes or squares, and that's why they called it cubism. It is truly the style that made him famous and that um, a lot of artists emulated and copied and used as inspiration in their own artwork. <clears throat> My favorite artwork by Picasso is his crazy portraits, okay? So he loved to make portraits and a lot of the portraits were done with crazy colors and patterns and shapes. He would mix up the noses and the eyes, take an eye that's supposed to be to the side and have it go forward. He would include eyes that you really wouldn't see if you were looking at it from the side. He would create different shapes and sizes. So in this one, we have a big, huge eye and a smaller eye, okay? So he loved to mix it up. So today, we are going to create a Picasso-style portrait, and you're going to have two options of how you wanna make that. The first option will be a drawing. You can use color and whatever you have laying around the house. So it could be marker or crayon or colored pencil, paint if you have paint. It's completely up to you as the artist. The other option I'm gonna talk about today is a relief sculpture using cardboard boxes that you have lying around the house. Okay, so we're gonna make both of these different style Picasso faces um, and you can choose one or you can do both. Now for the first Picasso style face, we are going to work on paper, okay? we are going to create our face using pencil first, okay? Just in case you wanna erase or change things or move things around, um, using pencil is always the best way to start. Also, you wanna draw really, really lightly, okay? You wanna draw it light until you get it right. That way, if you have a mistake or you have a little line that goes through that you wanna get rid of, you can erase it. In order to help you out with this drawing, I've created some sample sheets with different sized heads and eyes and nose and all those facial features for you to choose from. Now you don't have to use these. You can create your own, but this is just a good way to get the creative juices flowing. You can change them up. You can use them the way they are. It is completely up to you. So I'm gonna begin with the shape of the head. I'm gonna use one of the shapes that I have here on my sheet. I'm drawing nice and light so that if I need to, I can erase. Now, once we have the head, we need a neck and shoulders. Now it's a Picasso face, so you can do it in whatever creative way you'd like, using any kinds of shapes. So now I've got to start adding the facial features and I can add them anywhere I'd like in whatever sizes I'd want to kind of balance the picture. So 
So here's a good example of needing to erase. I've gone through the eye with part of the head, so I'm gonna get that part out of there so it looks like the eye is on top rather than going through. And that kind of creates a look of the eye coming on and off the face. A little more abstract <clears throat> and interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep going using my sheets and finish up all the parts of my face. So I have finished my Picasso drawing. As you can see, I use lots of color and pattern. I use polka dots in the hair. I use some stripes on the shirt, a little bit of a checkerboard pattern in the background, but you can use any kind of patterns that you'd like. Um, in this one, I used all marker and crayon and pencil. Uh, this one, I incorporated a little bit of paint and added some swirly patterns as well as a pattern with hearts in it. Um, so you can really use your creative mind to come up with whatever you want um, for these very cool and very creative Picasso portraits. The next type of Picasso portrait I'm going to talk about is a Picasso relief portrait using cardboard boxes. So we're going to be using uh, simple product cardboard boxes that you find at home. Um, anything works. So you can go around your house, collect some boxes, cereal, crackers, granola bars, anything. What's great about these kind of boxes is that they are really thin and easy to cut. And you want something that's easy to cut to work with. I'm going to start with a base. So I found a stronger piece of cardboard that I could use to glue down my thinner pieces to. So I'm going to put that down as a base, but you could use a piece of paper. You can just make it out of the shapes of the head if you want. Uh, be creative and do it in whatever way works for you. Okay. So I'm going to start by taking my box and cutting out a head shape. So I've got this bigger box, which I think is good to use. Now with the boxes, you have the cool designs that are on the box and you have the gray brown color that's inside. So you can use either part or either side for your designs. my big piece that I'll be using for my head. Now I'm going to use the blank side for the head because it's big and I don't want it to be too busy and not be able to see any of the other parts of the face. Um, so I'm going to put that down on my cardboard after I kind of adjust my cuts a little bit to make my head a little more interesting. So I am going to glue that down wherever I'd like on my piece of cardboard and then I'm going to get started adding all the other parts using my boxes. I have finished my Picasso relief portrait out of cardboard. I added lots of extra details like patterns on the face and on the neck and hair. Um, you can add little lines and details and designs anywhere you'd like. That's what's fabulous about a Picasso portrait. There's really no rules. You can create whatever colors, designs, and shapes you want to make it more interesting and creative. Um, so you have two choices of what you're going to do today. Um, you have a 
drawn Picasso portrait using color with crayons or markers or paint or whatever you have laying around, or you have a cardboard relief portrait using some of those boxes you have lying around um, that are easy to cut, okay? Both are fabulous. I would love to see one or both. I cannot wait to see what you boys and girls come up with.